What's up, guys? Welcome back to Slap Shots We Hearts. You know who I am. I'm Megan. I'm here today with Texas Stars wing Riley Tufty. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, anytime. So before we get into this season, tell us a bit about how you got to the point you're at between juniors, college. Like, what got you here? Yeah, for sure. Well, I grew up in uh, Blaine, Minnesota. It's about 20 minutes north of Minneapolis. Um, played all my youth hockey growing there. Stayed four years in high school. Um, so played played my senior season at Blaine High School and then uh, went to the Fargo Force uh, a little bit after my junior year of high school and then before and after my senior year of uh, high school as well. And um, ended up finishing uh, my junior career um, with the Fargo Force my senior year. And then after that, I went on to play um, at the University of Minnesota Duluth for three years and uh, won two national championships there. And then I signed with uh, Dallas, the Dallas Stars um, right after the 2019 season. Um, so, and now I'm here with uh, the Texas Stars in the minor leagues. That's awesome. So like you said, you won championships through college. You've also been to World Juniors different like yep. stage tournaments what's that environment like at such a young age yeah it's it's pretty crazy that i got to experience all that stuff um you know i could probably go on for forever about all the national camps and stuff um but i that i've been a part of but i i've been overseas uh at twice back to back years uh, representing the united states of america so that was obviously pretty cool and then um yeah, like you said, uh, you know, playing the World Juniors in, in, in Buffalo, New York, and uh, it was actually the first time they had an outdoor game at the Buffalo Bills um, stadium, so that was pretty cool as well. Um, Gives you a taste of what a potential, like, yeah. stadium series could yeah, be. Yeah, exactly. So that, that was awesome, uh, fun to experience that, and uh, it was actually crazy because it was, like, snowing like crazy that it was, like, a blizzard, so... Um, it was it was really fun to to experience that and play in that. That's cool. You said you got to go to a lot of places like overseas. What is your favorite place you've gotten to travel to because of hockey? Um, well, I just like I said, I think uh, you know overseas. I think was probably the best. I, I went to Slovakia and uh, Germany, and Germany was really cool. I mean, just to see like you know it's a total different atmosphere out there, obviously, and. Uh, just like anything that you, as far as food, cars, like whatever, it's just uh, super cool. We didn't get to do much uh, like sightseeing, but it was still awesome to, to be over there. Yeah, totally different vibe over there. I love Germany. Mm -hmm. Tech, we're coming to anyone else. You, <laughs> so when too? you were drafted, you said, what was that like? Like, I feel like they publicize drafts for so many other sports and, and the NHL doesn't get the same attention as it should so like what yeah. is it for you getting to that point there yeah no for sure um yeah it was awesome uh you know kind of leading up to the draft that whole year um i was ranked a the start of the year i was ranked a b uh player so that means like you're projected to go in rounds like two to four i think and then halfway or like Halfway through the year, my draft year, I think I got bumped up to an A. So that's like first round um, I'm status. So, um, you know, I was uh, pretty, pretty highly touted. And, uh, it, you know, it was, it was awesome because it was stressful at the same time because you had, you know, teams watching you every night you played and uh, you had meetings like every other week. So, um, and I ended up going to the NHL combine and had having like 28 interviews with teams. So that was a, a roller coaster of emotions, but, um, you know, pretty cool. And, uh, you know, leading up to the draft night, it was in Buffalo, New York. Um, and, you know, I had all my family there, so it was awesome. And, uh, you know, hearing my name get called by the Dallas Stars 25th overall, it was, was surreal and, uh, you know, no, nothing that I can – no one can ever take that back from me. So, um, you know, it was an awesome experience and uh, something that I'll never forget. Yeah, you're forever going to be a first round draft pick. No yeah, one exactly. That for sure. <laughs> exactly. So, you obviously got drafted and then thrown into this whole COVID year 
experience. Mm -hmm. What was that kind of like for you with the shutdown? Yeah, it was crazy because, you know, our team last year, um, I was playing in Texas as well last year, and we were trying to make a playoff push. Uh, I think we had like 20, 20 games left or so. Mm -hmm. And, you know, all the news kind of came out, and we're just like, we didn't really know what was going to happen. We're just like, oh, like it's a bad virus, right? Like we're not going to get shut down from this and ended up getting sent home and didn't end up returning to play. So it was it was kind of crazy, and it was a long – long nine months at home I'll tell you that of training and um you know just kind of going through all those you know everything that you do to, to train and how you treat your body and stuff but um and you no, also have the added blessing of your son coming during yeah no day. for sure yeah that 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 was that's uh one of the main things is that you know that I got to spend time with my family and um you know with Jack's my he's almost 15 months now but when he was born, um, I didn't get uh, taken away from him too much uh, with with the whole COVID stuff going on. So it couldn't have honestly it couldn't have happened at a better time uh, in my life for me mm -hmm. selfishly. But um, no, yeah, it, it was it was a good nine months off, but I was ready to to get back to work once once we got uh, cleared to play. Yeah, definitely a little silver lining there. Yeah. So what was that return to play like for you? I know the NHL had so much back and forth, but we don't hear a lot about what's happening in the AHL and like mm -hmm. their format of everything. What was that return to play like for Texas? Yeah, it was, um, it was good. Like, honestly, um, you know, I went to the Dallas stars camp, like their training training camp because every guy in like an NHL contract goes there. So was able to spend a few weeks there and, and uh, brought the family as well. So, so that was good. And then we got hit hard in Dallas with the COVID situation. So it kind of extended camp a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And then uh, once they send their guys down, um, it was, uh, you know, kind of kind of crazy because we, we didn't even know, like, what was going to happen um, as far as, like, if we're going to play or not. So yeah. uh, a few weeks came by and, and we were able to uh, – to play and uh they, they came out with the schedule so it, it was really nice okay so you guys had the shutdown what was ha like having to like re adjust your momentum and like get that kind of type and energy back when you were finally able to like go into it yeah i mean i think like uh i think that were like all leads up into in the training like um you know, you kind of ramp up your training towards, you know, when, when you're going to, when you know, you're going to get sent back. So kind of just ramping up the training then. And, you know, when we got to Dallas, they did a really good job of making sure we were ready. Like we were scrimmaging, we were, you know, high, high tempo practices. So they did a really good job of, of that kind of stuff. So that was nice. And, um, you know, they, they make sure we're ready for sure. But, you know, obviously it goes into to yourself too, with, you know, the nutrition and, all that part of the game. So you got to make sure you're ready. Um, and uh, I think most of our guys did a good job with that too. Yeah. And while you talk about like taking care of your body, you've also been very vocal about your experience with diabetes. Mm -hmm. If you had any advice to give to kids growing up who also have diabetes and are in sports on like taking care of their health while still being in sports, what would that be? Yeah. I mean, um, you know, it's, it's a roller coaster of emotions. Um, you know, you have your good days and bad days and good weeks and bad weeks. Um, you know, just, I try to tell them to stick with it. Like it's never, it's never going to be perfect. Um, you know, I had definitely my ups and downs and, and finally, once you kind of, uh, you know, get that sweet spot going, it's, uh, it's, it's easy. Like once you kind of figure out your body and, but at the same time, once you have body changes too, then your whole diabetes level has changed. So, um, I just tell them to stick with it and, uh, it's a long journey, but, um, you know, they're not there alone and, and, uh, you know, all the diabetics are there with them. So. Yeah. And see how far they can get. Obviously you're a perfect. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, follow, follow your dreams. That's for sure. Yeah, totally. So I got to ask your take on the Dallas Stars season so far. Obviously, didn't get to start with the rest of the league. Kind yeah. of started well and then fell behind. What's your take on this season so far? Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty crazy. Like now they're they're fighting for a playoff spot. So, um, you know, I think uh, 
Yeah, I mean, they've had some injuries up there, and they've had guys in and out of the lineup. So, um, you know, it's you know for them to to go to the Stanley Cup playoffs last year, and now this year to uh, um, you know not even who knows if they're going to make the playoffs or not. But I think they put a lot of pressure on themselves last year with, with making the Stanley Cup finals. So a lot of people had uh, you know high intentions for them to to. To, for this season to, to go far into the playoffs too. But, you know, that, that stuff happens and uh, hopefully it'll be a bounce back season next year. Yeah, for sure. So what are you looking for now? Is like the season's kind of rounding out next season is now on the horizon. What are you looking forward to most for next season? Yeah, I mean, I'm looking for another big year of uh, – or big summer of training. So, um, you know, really got to grind it out there and uh, get my body right again and – um, you know, probably hopefully try to, to, to make the Dallas Stars next year. That's that's always my goal, and uh, every year I come in. And last year's uh, – or next year is the last year of my contract too, so I need to have a big season, um, you know, as far as uh, signing another contract after that. We are definitely all rooting for you. Mm -hmm. Final question. If anyone's in Dallas, what is the one thing they have to do while they're there? If anybody's in Dallas, well, I'd say um, – you know, go go to a barbecue spot. That's for sure. Uh, you know, Texas is known for their barbecue, and uh, um, you know, try to try to hit up one of those barbecue spots if you can if you like barbecue. So, and then I'll, I'll um, as always uh, try to make it to a Dallas Stars hockey game. For sure, I was waiting for that to be the main answer. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Riley, thank you so much for chatting with me today. Yeah. We rooting for you best mm -hmm. of luck with the end of this season next year everything can't wait to see what you're able to do yeah i appreciate it thank you so much